No, just now, no, 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 because I, I keep them for you. See if we've got things that are. What about the brooms? You know what about them? What, the brooms in the bed? Yeah, then you're sick for a This is. This back to the channel so you will see in the few bits clips that I got there uh, in a few charity shops again I bought glass and a natural crystal <laughs> honestly I'm so typical okay but the prices were ridiculous and that's why so I don't usually pick up baskets because they are a bit of a slow seller but for two pounds and for that quality the gorgeous polished base Murano. I mean the quality of the glass is amazing and the pink I think will sell that. It's so nice. So two pounds I could easily get 20 quid. Easily. So I maybe I'll aim for like the 30. And then out of the entire reuse centre I bought this one pound piece of fluorite crystal. And then in that very last one i got this for six pound this is a huge medina obelisk i can't honestly the size and the weight of this thing i went to the till and the woman said i hope you don't have any enemies <laughs> i was like it's a bit of a weapon isn't it so yeah six pounds easily maybe 50 60 quid so yeah for a few charity shops what six seven eight nine under a tenner brilliant so today we are going to make this eight pounds item, which is what I got it for, eight pounds. It's probably worth, as it is, about 40 to 50. I am going to try and get about 60 to 70. So I am going to polish all this brass with some brasso. And I mean, it's not too bad as it is. I've seen worse brass, but I can bring this up quite well. So. Let me see how we get on. So this is what it'll look like once you've polished it, but it's all like greasy and all that kind of grey has came off you see the colour of that so what I now do is just wash this in just warm soapy water and then give it a buff up with a dish towel give it a good buff up with just a, a rag so can you see the difference see the difference nice shiny one so I could probably bring this up a little bit better. Hand cramp. <laughs> Such bad hand cramp.
much better. And now, a good £60 item, £70 item. Happy with that. So, another thing I've been doing today is I've been repainting my box, as you can see. <laughs> repainting the box to make it nice and white again on the top because this is where I take my photos and what I did do was I painted just a little bit of the backdrop because I usually have my bricks in the background trust the process once I have got a lovely item here when I take a photo of something that's what you'll see which I think is a lot nicer than what it was but it's not perfect which I quite like I don't want it to be totally perfect So these are the items I'm going to get on this week, pretty much a week's of thrifting for these ones. This I got a while ago, just polished up. This has been in my um, death pile for a while. So this week I'm also going to put on some lovely jewellery. I've got some genuine pearls here. Um, this one's really unique. It's like four layered with three different types of pearls and some black onyx. This one, again, is just a beautiful, genuine pearl necklace. So I'm going to get those on. And then over here, I have these two, like, flapper length, genuine pearl necklaces. They're gorgeous, like the peacock beads. I've got a nice, like, olive bead. It's plastic. I don't know if it's lucite. I'm not sure. It's just like a plastic, but it's a full amber and the length of it I thought was really nice. So um, this one is sea glass. It's gorgeous. I really like that. I'm just going to... These two aren't going to be on for much, but my pearls will be okay. And then this one is some genuine stones on a sterling silver chain. I really like this one. I think it's got moss agate, some smoky quartz, and some clear quartz. But yes, so this is the plan this week. 